You've all been lied to. Hey. Who this conversation. This argument or debate continues to saturate the internet amongst those interested in self-defense. That argument is, what is the best gun for home defense? I believe that that answer, whether we like it or not, is contained in this video and the argument is now over. Well, at the conclusion of the video it is. The leftover dialogue is nothing more than semantics and individualism layered with special circumstances. We have to also consider who is having the conversation and who might be overhearing the exchange. Let me explain. If there are two seasoned gun owners who train regularly, use firearms in their careers, and own various platforms, then their conversation may be unique in comparison to the IT or real estate professional who just purchased their first gun last week. Before we get to the gun used the most for home defense, let's talk about what we normally hear. Due to its stopping power, which most people actually mean how much of the kinetic energy from the muzzle of the gun will translate into dispense energy at the target, but that's another conversation. This normally leads to most people saying a shotgun is the most effective firearm for home defense. Add in the myth that the pump or sound of the action will send criminals fleeing and ET phoning home for help. And everybody says this is the go-to. One problem is many people will load their shotguns with bird loads. I see it all the time. Those are loads used for hunting small game birds. Due to the inexpensive cost of the loads and people just not knowing any better, that's what they choose. More seasoned people will start the ammo selection as slugs or double eye buck to support their shotgun nomination as the best tool for home defense. Pump action shotguns are also cost effective for many people. The Stevens 32012 gauge shotgun goes for an MSRP of around 281 bucks. And depending on who's rating what's decent, then a decent entry level pump action shotgun can go for a price comparable to some favorably priced handguns. Then we go to the other highly nominated or voted option, the AR-15. Many people say the AR-15 is the Swiss army knife of firearms. It can be used for home defense, hunting, sport, and repelling tyranny. It can. You can argue the same for shotguns. However, the effective range of a shotgun is not that of an AR-15. AR-15s are also very popular in the pistol configuration, right? Like this, like this Tactical Life Takedown AR-15. Many people like the shorter pistol options, and let's just be honest, really, because they, they look cooler. People who understand the platform a little bit better will begin to argue about twist rate, 223 versus 556 versus 300 blackout versus 6 like spec versus handgun calibers and PCCs like this versus a BAR9. And everybody's gonna be right at some point, and then they're gonna be wrong. There is also the accessory effect the AR-15 has. You can find images and videos of ARs with more added parts than an IG model who takes regular trips to see Dr. Miami. So your butt is uh, as uh, long as I am. Lights, lasers, and bayonets. Oh my. You want an LVPO or a red dot? You want a red dot or a holographic optic? You want a magnifier with an offset mount? The accessory effect has many thinking the add-ons are hardware equal an upgrade in software, which it doesn't. Now, come see us at NoOtherChoice.com and we can get you that software upgrade you need before you invest in more add-ons. We could go on forever, but let's just give you what you came for. Five million adults became first-time gun owners between January 2020 and April 2021. In comparison, 2.4 million became gun owners in 2019. First time, anyway. 7.4 million people is what that equates to. Those numbers only grew through 2022. Now, these are the numbers from Pew, but apparently 68.8% of gun owners own rifles, 58.4% of gun owners own shotguns, and 82.7% of gun owners own handguns. Now, considering that most people own one or maybe two guns, and most of those guns are handguns, the handgun is the most used and thus most effective firearm for home defense. The best gun is the one that you have. There is really no debate in that point. We have to remember that many gun owners are only interested in self-defense and they are looking for a purchase that protects them at all times. They can go to the grocery store, laundromat, and the bar mitzvah with a concealed handgun. They will then take that gun home and place it on their nightstand. 
We also have to consider the constant securing and unsecuring of long guns. If the homeowner has one locked in a safe, then they have to remember to unlock it, lock it back up. It's a lot. Now, how many people are really that disciplined? Some people are ready to argue that they grew up with guns everywhere and they knew not to touch it. Well, that's great, but that's just not everybody's story, um, especially with the new surge of gun owners. There is also the push for more people to get trained. It is a challenge to get the majority of people to train outside of the realm of a concealed carry permit or something equivalent. So to believe that more people will take elevated training with shotguns or rifles over handguns seems unrealistic and the open enrollment courses across the country will support that. So the number one used gun for home defense is the handgun. Now you might not believe it's the best option, but it's the number one owned platform. It's more likely to be with the owner. The owner is more likely to train with it. And most gun owners don't cross into the collector or in enthusiast ram or super enthusiast so the handgun is their go-to option and if many of the seasoned gun owners who train a few times a year or whatever will be honest most of them rely on their handgun for defense 99.9 percent .9 of the time let's just keep it real now if you want to see what you need to complement your handgun subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that video we're going to have some videos coming up about what you really need to make that handgun effective especially if it's going to be your go-to option in all situations so I hope you enjoyed the video. I know you guys are ready to comment and argue with me and tell me about what you've done and how you do it. I get it, man. That's the fun part of the conversations that we have, right? I get it. However, numbers don't lie. The reality of it is I've been a firearms instructor for, I don't know, over two decades now. And I can tell you that most people are going to rely on that handgun for protection. And it's going to go everywhere with them at all times. And it's already a struggle to get more Americans to get out and train with their handguns, to get someone involved in AR training and uh, shotgun training and the elevated training that comes along with that, it's doable. They're just not doing it as much as they will be willing to do it with a handgun. At least people with handguns are going through something like a concealed carry class or something on its level, even though we want them to do more. But let's just be honest, we're always pushing for more, right? So, but go ahead, comment, man. Let me have it. Get in there, comment, do it. But remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of discussions and if you want to see more content like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, man. I, I hope that it made you think about things in a very simplistic form. So when you're having these conversations with people, you know how to really give them the information and help them go through um, what's reality and what's going to be real for them in their situation. That being said, been your man KD. Man, look, head over to knowofthechoice.com. You can check out our training schedule. We'll, we're going to be uh, updating that schedule over the next couple of weeks for 2023. We're going to even push into 2024. Got some great stops coming up. And if you're not anywhere close, you should be willing to travel for training, by the way. But if you got some uh, people you already know that want good training in your area, title the email, I want training in my area, and we'll see what we can make happen. But hey, guys, above all, even if you want to argue with me, remember, be prepared for when there is no other choice. I'll see you guys next time, and I'm still right. Peace.